we'll get that mic to Ryan in the back row, and we'll go with Todd right here in the front. Tiger, do you see PIF as having the ability to add further to what you guys want to do in addition to SSG? Yeah, I mean, uh, ultimately, we would like to have you know, PIF be a part of our tour and be be a part of uh, you know our our product, but. And financially, you know, we don't now. And so uh, with, uh, with SSG and then the amount of monies that they have, uh, have come to the table with and what we initially had agreed to in, a, in, a, in the framework agreement, and those are all the same numbers. So um, anything beyond this is going to be, you know, obviously over and above. And, you know, we're in a great position right now. And... Uh, Hopefully, we can make our product, you know, better in the short term and long term. And just to follow up on Doug asking you about here. So, what is the frustration level of not winning here, given that you won everywhere around the world? <laughs> yeah. Like, how 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 frustrating has that been? It, it is frustrating in the sense that this is a golf course that has been, in, to me, been very comfortable, you know, visually. Um, as I said, it's it's a fader's delight from the the tee shots, and I have. As I said, I've traditionally been a pretty good iron player, um, but for some reason I just haven't put it together uh, at this event, <clears throat> other than you know one time with a chance. But I, I just for some reason just hasn't happened. You know, hopefully it'll be this week. And the frustration. Obviously, you can see you can see that I haven't done it, and you're asking me the question. Well, let's get that mic to clear, and in the meantime, we'll go back to Ron in the middle here. Ron, Hi, Tiger. Yes. Two parts here, kind of random. One, what's Josh Allen's game like? And then two, how did um, Lance end up on your bag? Uh, Josh's game is, is considering the, what he, you know, he does for a living and the, 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 the pounding that he, he takes on his body, uh, the fact that he's been able to, to play this game. And you can see the enjoyment that he has and the addiction that he has for, for the game of golf. And um, he asks unbelievable questions today about how he can get better. Um, that only athletes really can ask, you know, ask those type of questions. Um, and that's what's neat about being able to play with, with athletes and see how their, their, their brain works. And we're, we're, we're very similar across the board, uh, whether we're playing you know, football or golf or, or baseball. Um, how we look at things are, are very you know, consistent. As far as Lance is concerned, I mean, uh, Lance, I had a, I've had a great relationship with him over the years, uh, going back to when he caddied for Cooch and when we played at the, at the President's Cup together uh, back at what, uh, Mirfield Village. Uh, in all the years that we've been on Ryder Cups and President's Cups together and the times I've, I've been able to have played with him in the same groups, very down to earth, very loyal, and uh, the, how he has conversated with his, his players uh, through the years. I've obviously taken notice of that. And uh, we've had the same type of feels and how we look at the golf course and how we you know, read putts. They're, they're very similar. So I think it's, it's a great, <clears throat> we're, we're going to be a, a great team and we look forward to the challenge. Go to Ryan in the back row and then we'll come to the front. So Tiger, uh, straight back. Right in the back, Tiger. Yep. Gotcha. There's been a there's been a lot of debate recently about reunification in the game and, and kind of the best ways to do mm -hmm. that. Uh, what's your opinion on a potential pathway back to the PGA Tour for live players? Well, we're looking into you know all the different models for pathways back. Uh, what that looks like, what the impact is for the players who have stayed and who have not left, and how uh, we make our product better going forward. There is no answer to that right now. You know, we're looking at uh, very different, uh, varying degrees of um, ideas, uh, and what that looks like in the short term. You know, we don't we don't know. Um, we don't even know in the, in the long term what that looks like. Uh, but uh, you know, trust me, there's there's <laughs> there's daily, weekly you know, emails and, and talks uh, about this, and what this looks like for, you know for our tour going forward. We'll go down here in the front right, Tiger, and then we'll go to the back. Did you? Tiger, from a technical perspective, what are you working on in your swing to make sure it's competition ready? 
Uh, I think that more than anything that I try and do from a technical standpoint is making sure that I can still hit the golf ball flush and solid. You know, I, I don't have this the same speed I used to have. I don't have the ability to practice the same amount of hours. Um, uh, but I still do work on make sure that I can hit the ball out of, the, out of the middle of the face. And if I can do that consistently, one of the reasons why I, I really don't have a coach right now, um, the, the, what my body does from a day to day, week to week, just looks kind of different. Uh, I can't really model myself or, or fit any kind of model. And a lot of it is based on my, my hands and my feel. And I, I have built this golf swing uh, in one of the last few years, or four or five years, based on my hands and what that feels like. And what that, what that looks like, it doesn't really, I don't, sometimes it doesn't look pretty, um, but I can still hit the ball flush. We'll go to Jim in the back and then. Yeah. Uh, Tiger, Paul. Jim Hill, KK, in, in the back here, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, Good to see you again. You. Yeah. How emotional a week can this be or will this be when you consider for you? Basically, this is where it all started. Yeah, Jim, it's been, uh, it's been full circle for us, uh, for me, uh, to have come out here when I was, what, seven, eight years old, whatever it was, when Lanny won going away, and to come out here and, and play you know, my first tour event uh, and my first introduction to the tour, and then for us, whatever it is, I want. 20 some odd years, 25, 25 years later, um, to have the foundation actually run and, and be in control of the, of the event. And <clears throat> I'm actually you know, hosting and, and playing, so uh, it's, it's an incredible week, and it's a, it's a great week for all of us. Okay, we'll go to Bob, hey. Bob Harry. Uh, Tiger, um, two things. Have, have you personally met or spoken with anyone from the public investment fund, including Yasser? No, I have not. Do you have a sense for what their goal is or what their end game is in all of this? From what their representatives have discussed with us, um, yes and no, and because that, that changes uh, and that evolves you know, from a few months ago to what it is currently now. Is that is that hey, is that good or bad? Is that good or bad from your standpoint? How it's changed? I don't know if it's good or bad. I think it's it's it's, it's an ongoing fluid process. We have another one up in the back. Can't see who it is. Sorry. Hey, Tiger. Jim Gray. Tiger, I was wondering if having your ankle fused diminishes the pain that you have when you play, and if you could also describe your love of the game now in a different physical state as compared to when you were whole. Yeah, my, my ankle doesn't hurt anymore um, because, no, the bones aren't rubbing anymore. But then again, it's different. Then other parts of my body have to take the brunt of it, just like my, my back is fused. And so other parts of my body have taken the brunt over that. And I you know, have you know, two different body parts that are, are now fused. Um, yeah, it, other, other parts of the body have to adapt. And as far as the, the love, the love, I still love competing. I love playing. I love being a part of the game of golf. Um, this is a game of, of a lifetime, and I don't ever want to stop playing. Um, I love being able to compete. I love being able to enjoy different conversations from across time. And uh, for instance, like today, be able to play with two great athletes, um, the, the cross-pollination that, that happens with other sports and with this, this, with this game. I, I love that. I love having, and I don't ever want to, to lose that. Okay, we've got time for a few more. We'll go with Tom right <coughs> in front here. Right, right in front. Hey, Tiger, you, yes. uh, you're playing tomorrow with Gary. You gave him an exemption. What will that mean to you, playing with him, considering what he has gone through, and I guess relating it to what you've gone through, the different things, but, you know, serious well, I think that what, what Gary has gone through, I don't, I don't think people have really given it enough, enough play. Uh, enough really, um, I think we have to have enough conversation about, about what he's gone through and how difficult life was for Gary and how, how scary that was. 
um, you know, each and every moment he's afraid of, of dying and the anxiety of that and to have a surgery and remove a tumor out, out of his brain and to come back and, and play the tour. I mean, that, that's just an un unbelievable story. And I think that we should, you know, applaud him for, you know, what he's been able to overcome. And I, I can't wait. I mean, he's been one of my, one of my great friends, you know, over, over the years. And to be able to play with two great friends tomorrow, uh, we're going to have a great time. Uh, we're obviously, we're going to be kneeling each other. But it's, it's a great kneeling. The fact that we're able to do it, the fact that he's here um, and is able to um, give us the, the needle um, is, is fantastic because that was a scary time when it didn't, we didn't know what that was going to look like. Three more lined up. One over the side first. Go ahead. Some uh, new gear for you so far this week. New prototype Sunday red shoes. And it looks like you're testing between the old Sim 3-wood and the new TaylorMade <coughs> QI 10 Tour with the new shaft. Um, curious about your thoughts on the shoes and your thooughts on the new 3-wood. Well, the 3-wood the is, is in play. Um, it's, I've, I feel very comfortable with the 3-wood. It's... Uh, I had to find the right shaft for it, and decided to you know, switch the shafts and go with what I have in my driver. Uh, so it's it's consistent. My my five was different. <laughs> it's, it's old. It's a little beat up, but it still works. Um, but the three wood, I wanted to find something that I, I could draw a little bit better, and uh, this one is is definitely that. And as far as the shoes go, um, had to make a slight adjustment yesterday. Um, was putting some nails in as far as traction. Um, being at home in Florida and testing in Florida, it was very different than coming out here and playing off a slope and playing off a wet grass um, and having the, the traction I needed. So I you know, put some nails in yesterday and it's been, been working. Okay, we'll go to Mark in the middle here. Uh, Tiger, with the, the negotiations with the PIF, how much of an issue is, is team golf and what is your opinion on team golf fitting into the, the future? Sport, yeah, uh, we're, how team golf is. It, it, it's going to be a, a part of the tour. It is part of the tour. We have we have TGL. So, um, what that looks like as far as official events goes, you know, that we don't know what that looks like yet as of now. Um, as far as you know, off night, one night events. Um, what tomorrow golf league provides, it is team golf. It is. It's going to be entertaining. Now, whether or not we can trans, transform that or, or, or put that together with, with official events, you know, we don't know what that looks like. And that's one of the reasons why we have SSG to be a part of, of what that could possibly look like. And how, do the, how does that even look like? And how does it even look like with our, our PIF negotiations as well? Okay, Tiger, we're going to wrap it up with one question from Jasmine on the side of the room. Hi, Tiger. Um, this tournament impacts your foundation, and this question is from one of your TGR Learning Lab student who is also an aspiring sports media professional. And his question is, um, why is it important for you to provide resources and opportunities to students who don't have access to them at school or home? And then as a follow-up to that, he wants to know, what message do you want to send to your TGR Learning Lab students? You know, with, without the the ability to, or availability, um, and access to the information that is, is afforded to a lot of the kids who have come from more comforting backgrounds. Um, you know, a lot of these kids don't have the, uh, the availability to, to make the, the leaps and, and be, and, and transform their, their families. And that's what our, our foundation is trying to do. And that's why we're trying, trying to provide either learning labs or a curriculum, be able to provide and access to that availability, and by providing the encouragement, you know what that that looks like. And you know it's been uh, a, a long road for all of us to to try and get to this point, um, trying to help as many kids as we we possibly can. And with our learning lab, I think we've had, you know, I am near two hundred thousand kids that we have served uh, currently and our expansion into Philly and into here in the greater Los Angeles area with Lula's place you know these are all things that how, how are we going to 
how are we going to get back and how are we going to make our, our society better? And that's what we're trying to do. And uh, without you know, all of you here or without uh, a tournament like this, we wouldn't be able to have those opportunities. So I uh, just want to say thank you for all of that. And we want to say thank you to everyone for attending. Absolutely. And thank you, Tiger, again, for, yeah. for being a host and competing this week. Thanks. You get all it. the best. Thanks. Appreciate it. You are.